In uh, March of 2002, I went into a diabetic coma. I was diagnosed with a specific condition known as a non-contotic hyperglycemic hyperosomolar coma. Now, <laughs> uh, when I came out of the coma, the doctor said, uh, Dwayne, we got some good news and we got some bad news. The good news is that you're alive. The bad news is ooh, we've got to remove your legs. So I don't know if anyone here has ever been in a coma, but when you come out of a coma, you don't really realize that you were in a coma. And when the doctor said remove the legs, I thought he meant, oh, move my legs to the other side of the bed. <laughs> and he said, no, Dwayne, remove. And uh, my daughter said, you mean cut off his legs? <laughs> uh, my daughter had flown in from Pittsburgh. And I said, cut off the legs? And the doctor said, yeah, and we'll save $250. If we, you know, we don't like to say cut or amputate, we like to say remove. And so I'm still a little groggy. And I said, okay, $250, I'll save $250. Is that per leg or is that for, <laughs> is that for both legs? <laughs> and my daughter is screaming, dad, it doesn't matter how much it costs. You're not gonna remove my father's legs. Um, part of the uh, protocol, drug protocol that they put me on uh, because my blood glucose level had spiked at 1,337. And uh, I didn't know what that meant, but I could tell by the look on the doctor's face that it wasn't good. So they put me on a protocol of uh, insulin, 60 units a day, of uh, Lantus and Humalog. Uh, they put me on Coumadin because I was struggling with uh, deep vein thrombosis and I two, had two major blood clots so there was a possibility of a pulmonary embolism.